All right. I'm going to call this one right here. This is all about guerrilla journalism. Guerrilla, like as in G U E R, guerrilla, like, uh, like gorillas in South America, you know, like un soldiers with no country, with no uh, uh, military that doesn't belong to a military, basically, or a media independent of the media. That, my friend, is people like us, people who just see things and put it out and let people do with it as they take it as they wish, you know what I'm saying? You can gnash me with your teeth, go ahead. You're not a zombie, so, you know, I'll heal up well. But, guerrilla journalism, man, this is, this is the future. This is the last vestige of, of realness, of freedom and in the earth. If you can't have freedom of information, you have no freedom at all. You have no, no part of freedom. If you can't talk about, if you can't tread anywhere, the trail leads. You are not free, my friend. You know what I'm saying? No one's got a gun to my head behind there in that dark shadow saying, you better make this video. I'm making this video because I'm compelled to of my own volition or whatnot, dude. You know what I'm saying? Because my own volunteering. I volunteer. It's my duty. I know. Well, it's my duty then to inform others as others have informed me. And I'm very appreciative of this. You know? Like, uh, like when, like, the, you know, this guy Black Child. He makes great videos about Illuminati rituals. This guy, Yash Karai, he uh, talks about Hollywood and music industry sacrifices. Dabu7, he's down there in Ferguson chasing down agent provocateurs. You got people like Mark Dice flying drones on top of policemen or setting up shop on a, on a pier asking people common questions, answers they should know, but... He proves over and over again unless he's staging that somehow or he's just picking the dumbest people he can find. I'm not sure. Or people are just that dumb. I'm not sure. That's the thing about guerrilla journalism. There's no label to back it, so you got to take it with a grain of salt. Some of the stuff is excellent, accurate, up to date, up to the moment, revealing, uh, revelatory. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking enlightening. Truly enlightening. True enlightenment comes from truth, not from someone's uh, version of the truth. It comes from actually the truth, okay? Um, guerrilla journalism. That's also like, uh, you know, Joe Biggs dressing up as Bin Laden and creeping back and forth across the border. I mean, that was fucking rich. You know what I'm saying? That's good journalism. That is, I like to see more of these ambush journalist guerrilla journalism i mean people with no strings these are the only people who can sneak in get some real intel or like the guys who go and head and let themselves get pulled over and record the cops record their abuses people who see cops beating up people and they sit there with their phone no i will not shut it off this is my right that my friend is a guerrilla journalist even the guerrilla analysts, some of them are coming from church organizations, some of them are coming from Gnostic organizations, some are coming from Satanists. I mean, they're out here trying to reveal their truth to their people too, you know what I'm saying? Even though I, you know, I, I'll take into consideration some of the stuff you say, but I, I got a rule. Like, anything, you can't trust a theosophist. You cannot trust them, so look. If you start talking that theosophy, uh, you just threw an extra grain of salt in with this uh, Jim Jones Kool-Aid, buddy. Uh, but, for instance, you know, there's like some people out here, they're pretty good. You know, like Tessarian or what is that guy's name, man? He's got a long ponytail, man, but he's an ex-Satanist mason. And he did... Uh, uh, a show about uh, the real decoding the matrix. I forgot what his name is, but he's all right. But still, he, he still speaks very occultish. You know what I'm saying? So even them, I take with the grain of salt. Um, 
But a lot of the people who get out of the Satanism movement and then come back to the light, they leave the false light of Lucifer and come back to the real light and then expose what they're into. They're so, so Darwinist, uh, false flag is, uh, false flag and atheism, flip-flopping, saying you're an atheist, but really you're a high-level, hardcore demonologist, occultist. You know what I'm saying? I think that is very deceptive, you know, the way these people speak. And it takes guerrilla journalists sometimes to expose these type of people. This is another example. Or, um, you know, when people uh, do experiments on their own and then record the results and then put them out for people to see for themselves. That's a form of guerrilla journalism. Or uh, guerrilla uh, academics. You know what I'm saying? Even if there ever was such a thing, there should be now. Because there is a straight up cover up about history, about real technology, about aliens, about angels and demons, about the Illuminati, about government, about the UN, about the New World Order. There's so much deception out here and so many false leads and so many uh, so many distractions. Like it's like the, the, the hall of mirrors. You're running around this hall of mirrors and it's hard to tell which direction to go because there's all these reflections that are um, distorted. So it, that's that's what it's like walking through the media madness. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't go to the TV for any kind of intelligence. I'm only, that's, if I want to know what the enemy's playbook is, I watch TV, I watch the news. You know what I'm saying? But if I want to know what's really going on, I'll uh, check out, I'll check out Dabu, you know what I'm saying, I'll, I'll listen to the Hagmans, I'll uh, throw Alex Jones on, I'll uh, watch a couple Dice videos, you know what I'm saying, I'll uh, do some of my own investigations, you know, I'll go talk to people in my neighborhood, I'll uh, listen to some sermons, I'll listen to some Bible studies, I'll listen, I'll watch a, a video about the occult origins of America, I'll uh, I'll, uh, I mean, all these, you can look at all these things and learn a lot. Just like, you know, when I read those books, Lao Tzu uh, was an ancient sociologist. So now I understand this stuff on a novice level just from reading this guy's book. And everything he said that was good, they do not do. They do the opposite. Everything he said, you shouldn't do this. That's what they do now. That's why the shit is important. That's why it's not a bad thing to study, 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 and study some more. And then talk about it with people who can go there, who can have enough understanding, enough life experience, enough uh, enough stuff they can recall that, you know, that it's going to be profitable to have a conversation. Because I could talk to a person that's going to go over their head, leave the room, have them call me crazy. Or I could talk with some like-minded people who know this is no joke. What I'm saying right now is real talk, is real deal. Yeah, I ain't playing. You know this, man. I don't, I don't, I don't play too much. I used to, but now I can't because it's too serious. Everything. That's one of the downsides to guerrilla journalism, is you start to see everything and start to figure it out, and it's disheartening. When you see everyone else is still in darkness. And, they, and even if you showed, if you left the light on, they couldn't find it. You know what I'm saying? The veil. That's why they need us guerrilla journalists out here giving them a second, third, fourth, and fifth opinion sometimes. Or a third, fourth, fifth confirmation of someone else's information. This is how we all work together. We're all working towards the same goal. This closure hopefully dismantlement of the agenda but it seems like they've they're too expert of planning to stop it all we can do is slow it down or wake more people up before the before the big one comes guerrilla journalism and guerrilla media this is the future